Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Knowledge Keen, and this is your friend Wasim. And today we are going to see another React concept that is list. How do we iterate over lists in React and in JSX? So basically, we are not going to iterate it in JavaScript, but we are going to iterate it in list. So without wasting any time, we are going to go see directly the code. But before that, please do subscribe our channel. So yeah, today we are going to see how to render list into our application list. It can be anything starting from, let's, let me just remove this previous example. Let's say I have an OEL tag, li, abc, oops, xyz, lmn. It can be any list and it's simple one, two, three. This is nothing but a list, a simple HTML list where we are iterating one, two, three, and so on elements. It can be a, a table number of rows, it can be a list, it can be anything. So today we are going to see how to dynamically render these kind of elements into your React.js. So yes, this is going to be an interesting, let's simply render, let's create a component to do this. Let me add a simple folder pages under which I'm going to render render list component dot js jsx dot tss whatever you like. So here we are going to simply create a component render list component. We continuously do this. It has a simple return like h1 render list. And we have to export it. Export default. Oops, it's not capital. Default render list. Yep. So this is a simple component that we created and we are going to render it under our return. Render list. We imported it. We import it. We render it. And voila, we have our render list component. We don't need app.js. Simply remove it. Now let's start writing it. So first, let's create some fruits. This is a simple example. We have a few fruits, apple, pear, and mango. We have a array of fruits. If you don't know what an array is, please go visit our JavaScript videos where we have uh, explained in depth what's an array, what are these properties, and how we can uh, render loops and everything. So I would request you to please go visit that first if you don't know what's an array is. So let's go ahead. Simple. We, we are simply creating one uh, straightforward 1D array that is apple, pear and mango. It has three elements. So if I want to render this, let me quickly render it like this. But as we are going to render multiple elements into one, we are going to wrap it under a fragments. We have seen what are React fragments. If you have not seen this, please visit our previous video. I'll just mention the link in the description below or you can just click on the eye icon above. So how I can render it, we are going to simply write it under. Let's say that I'm just printing it in simple h1s and fruit of fruits of zero. This is how we usually try to render it. But whatever you write into our HTML tags, into our HTML element, it is simply going to print it as it is. We have to evaluate it first. To how to evaluate it using our curly braces? We have seen this before. So simply add the curly braces, and it is going to evaluate first whatever the value it consists, and it is simply going to print it. And we have our apple. Let's print all the other ones. We have apple, pear, and mango. So these are the fruits that we already have. This is a simple way to render list, but let's take an example that we have hundreds of elements into this. Are we going to just keep on adding this? No, this is going to be a very bad way of writing it. You can do it, but still it is going to be the worst way to write any kind of list where you have n number of elements which you don't have the count of. To tackle this issue, we have different kind of solutions. To render uh, any kind of a loop, we have like for loops. For, for each, for in, for off, we have maps, we have uh, filters, we have so many different things that we can perform on an array. But to render something into React, we use JavaScript's 
map if you don't know how what is javascript map let's quickly see javascript array map we have the first link developer mozilla org let's open this and see what is an array map so we have a simple array and array it we just have something like this array name dot map okay and each time it is going to take each single element from that array so first time when it is trying to render it is going to take as 1 into this x and it is going to just multiply 1 into 2 and going to return a new array so once all these operations are performed once your map is finished it is just going to return the new array so let's say that it took the first element 1 1 into 2 is 2 it kept it aside now it is going to take 4 into this x 4 into 2 is 8 again it is going to keep it aside the same way 9 9 into 18 and 16 into 32 once this whole map is finished this add is done it is just going to tally all of them and just return to the new array that is our map 1 and we are simply printing this if you want to run if you want to test this here it is so this is how a simple javascript map works so what react does is it does not give you any additional kind of a method or uh, to render a list or something because we are writing simple javascripts we are writing constants we are writing functions we are using es es6 um, normal all the things that we have in es6 all the es6 concepts all the javascript concepts so why do we need something additional these react smart people what what the developers what they thought that why can't we use the same existing concepts instead of writing some additional overlay on it that's the reason we have simple javascript maps that is fruits dot map this is going to be a this is a javascript function that's why it is in curly braces and we are going to take each fruit and simply we are going to print it in h1 so let's say fruit I'll just comment this out for you. This line, line number 6 and these three lines are one and the same. This is going to just go ahead and add a loop. So because I have this prettier uh, additional plugin, it is just wrapping under brackets and it's trying to make it more beautiful and easy to read. That's the reason it added these brackets and everything. But in short, this is the same thing that we are trying to do. Fruit.map each fruit and we are printing it under h1 but again as i said in the previous example in this example that whatever we write in h1 or any tag it simply prints it as it is it is not going to print this fruit because it doesn't understand that this is a javascript variable so you have to write it in curly braces let's see without writing curly braces what happens it will just go ahead and print fruit 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 because it is looping three times we have three elements fruit has three elements so it is going to loop thrice but every time it is just going to print hard coded fruit because it is not evaluating it we have to evaluate it so just adding curly braces will do the trick and here we have voila we have this apple pear mango we don't need to change the code if we are trying to add another fruit uh peach let me just add some something else and yes see you just have to dynamically uh, keep adding fruits into this fruits array and it is going to just print it we don't need to change this logic anytime ever again that's how we that's how we we should do the code that's how the framework should be it should be very easy to use and it should be based on the same concept that we have already learned map is the concept that we have already learned before let me just do one more thing to this that i just want to know what is the index of each element okay this is going to come in handy when we are going to again do some other things so let's say that i just want to render apple and its index value pear and its index value that pear like pear is the second uh, fruit mango is the third fruit and peach is the fourth fruit but the index value of each of them is apple stands for zero Apple stands at index 0, pear stands at index 0, mango at index 2, 
pair at index one what i'm doing pair at index one mango at two and peach at index three so if i just want to print this again this stands with this core javascript map function that we have can pass multiple parameters to this map function so map always has an anonymous function but we can pass three values if we just add a comma you can see that the first one is the callback function but the callback function takes three values the first one is the value the actual value like we are just picking the apple from above and we are just taking it into the fruit the second was the second one is the index yes we now what we want is the index and third one is the array if you just want to pass the fruits map again fruits again to the same loop or if you want to pass an additional array or something you can just pass, pass it as the third parameter so we have three parameters but second and third parameter are always optional so i can pass let's say index this can be any name it should not be like index i can just pass it as index i can pass it as inx i can just pass it as ind it can be any name so let's not get confused there and this can also be any name so fruit and index i have two i'll just print simple like this index first and fruit see we have the actual index value of each element into this uh, list whatever we are trying to create and if we just simply we want to print it in element if you just go to the dom structure you can see all the h1s are here and we are just simply printing the values you cannot see the map or you just don't know what are the additional these things that we are trying to line number six is will never be there it will just evaluate and it will just render it on the dom interesting right this is how we usually render list in any kind of program so if you have like a thousand million elements into a div if you want to render them this is the way you do it let's quickly see something else that i uh, i said that my prettier just added in between randomly so what was it it was this round brackets that we have so to render map in a, in a layman's term okay if you are seeing over here that here we don't have any round brackets or any curly braces but you can write map in two ways this is the first way that you just add some round brackets and it will return automatically you don't need to explicitly write the return r e t u r n return but here it is explicitly or automatically returning the whatever it is there under this round brackets instead of round brackets let's say that i add curly braces so to just make it less confusing this was my map okay all the brackets are there curly braces the brackets i just add curly braces here okay and if i try to do the same thing let's say i am just trying to render the fruits fruit not fruits it is going to give me an warning see here already it is started to throw a warning that it expects a return value whenever you are trying to write, write this curly braces instead of round brackets if you add round brackets it is going to work let me just quickly show you see if i just instead of i remove the curly braces and i add the round brackets all the oops all the warnings and everything will just go away it will just vanish but instead of this if i add curly braces a warning will come that it is expecting a return value so that means you just have to return here whatever you are trying to print you need to return it to the map and still it will work as it is it is as simple as that these are the smallest nits and bits that you should remember while using a map or else you'll just go through this n number of errors and you'll just not recognize what exactly it is failing this is how we usually do it okay but here we are taking an example of a single 1d array let's let's take an example where i just don't have a simple array but instead a complicated one that is an array of object let's say that it has a name that is apple and a color that is 
Usually the apples are red. So let's say that I have an apple which is of color red. I again add like pear which is usually of color. Oops, color green. Let me take the third one too. I'm just simply adding array of object name that is mango which is usually of color yellow. Right? It is simple array of object. If I try to do this now, if I try that to do this and if you see over here, you are not going to see anything because it starts to fade. Objects are not valid react child. Ignore the warning, but we have an error that is objects are not valid react child. That means it is doing the same thing, but it is trying to render an object instead of a single value. So how we can do this? We can just simply take fruits dot name the fruit dot color. So here we have like fruit. Here we are getting the first node of it. That means here we are getting like something like this name apple and color your red. So instead of this, what we are trying to print is fruit dot name and this is going to render the name of the fruit refresh simply you can just see the all the errors are vanished it's just a warning you can ignore the, ignore it and let's say that i just print the color as well fruit dot color and you can see the apple is red the pear is green the mango is yellow in all the specific professional applications you have always have like array of objects and in those array of objects we always and always tend to do something like this this is the answer to all the problems that you have in an array and this is the way we usually render these applications or render these arrays i hope this is quite understanding and easy i have just explained what is map what is the first value does what is the what what is the second value even you can print the index value here that's up to you what if you write round brackets what if you write curly braces or how you have to return it everything is done and one last thing it's it's always a last thing that we miss something that is this warning this is one of a very important concept that in a list so Whenever you render a list, you are always and always going to get this warning. Okay. If you're not doing it properly. So it is asking for a unique key property. We are definitely going to see this in our upcoming videos. I hope this topic was interesting for you. This was all for today. And if you like this, please give us a thumbs. And please do let me know all the questions into the comment box below. Thank you.